Hi, folks. My name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. Ultrasound has become a stellar modality in today's diagnostic processes. It is used in a variety of different ways for a number of specialties. Ultrasound is utilized to determine the development of a fetus in the womb, assess viability of vasculatures, increase metabolism in soft tissue cells, and more. A few years ago, ultrasound was brought to the fore when actor Tom Cruise admitted to keeping an ultrasound unit in his private residence to monitor the development of his wife's pregnancy. Medical personnel were critical of Mr. Cruz's choices and insinuated that it was unhealthy. Henceforth began a discussion regarding the potential ill effects of the modality. Ultrasound also known as sonography, involves a specialized unit that produces high frequency sound waves that are emitted from a blunt probe or transducer. These high frequency waves pass through a patient's organs causing vibrations and are either absorbed or reflected by the subject. The reflected signals are detected by the probe and translated into a diagnostic image for interpretation. There are no studies that indicate that there are consistent inherent risks to sonography for medical applications. In fact, therapeutic ultrasound is used within the physical therapy arena to improve metabolism for arthritis, tendonitis, fibromyalgia, and musculoskeletal injuries. In other words, when applied appropriately, high frequency waves are healthy and highly beneficial. However, there is evidence that when ultrasound is applied to soft tissue structures such as the peritoneum and colon, it is possible for patients to develop air bubbles from the vibrations. Although rare, these air bubbles can exacerbate into more serious conditions that require additional treatment. For this reason, many doctors discourage frequent exposure to these studies, particularly for pregnant patients. Nearly every pregnant woman in the United States will face the prospect of getting an ultrasound during their term. This is harmless and the patient can afford multiple studies over the ninth month period. But the key here is moderation. Non-diagnostic ultrasound, when acquired for random purposes or simply to see the baby one more time, is regarded as irresponsible and unnecessarily assuming remote risks. Although air bubbles can be created with each exam, these byproducts typically get absorbed and amount to nothing. But it is key to understand that radiology modalities are not toys or novelty items to be trifled with. Hence, respect for the device by relying on professional sonographers or doctors and their application is appropriate. Ultrasound has proven to be one of the most spectacular advances in medicine over the years. It is vastly regarded as harmless and continually proves itself as a critical component in treating patients. As is the consideration for x-rays, when faced with the prospect of receiving a study, the benefits far and away outweigh the risks of not having the exam. That concludes this segment on Is Ultrasound Dangerous? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.